Hi guys, Todd here. Today we have a bit of a bit of a game changer for me. This this is the the E roll by Joytech. This was sent on to me by the guys at PinkMule.com. Uh, so thanks to them, uh, I did receive this free for review and. Do you know, I'm not even going to go into my usual waffle mode here. I'm just going to cut straight to it. Um, you know, if you go along to the Pink Meal website, all the information that's on the site reflects exactly what is written on the back of the box and uh, tells you exactly what is contained in this. We're just going to jump straight into this and I'm going to show you what this is all about. So, let's get a move on. Right, here we go. Let's start off with the interesting bit. And you can see that it's just getting covered in fingerprints already. But this is the actual PCC, the carrying case. It does come with uh, like a screen protector on the front and the back when you get it. But uh, yeah, I peeled it off and it now means that everything gets covered in fingerprints. But uh, yeah, that's fine, it works. Uh, oh yeah, that's me. Um, to open it, you've got a little arrow there. You just pull it open. And that's it. You take your e-cig or whatever you want to call it, you just pop it in, push down, close the case and you can see that we have a blue light. Blue light tells you that the electronic cigarette itself is charging. The other light here is from when you're charging the actual carry case itself. There is a, a thousand milliamp battery in the carry case or the PCC whatever you want to call it and it's charged via a micro USB cable which does come supplied. Uh, the actual little battery in this is 90 milliamps or milliamp hour I should say. Uh, to remove it you just this button here you just push push and out she comes and that's you, you're ready to vape. thing about this that I have to point out straight away is that you can see there there's no room for anything other than one cigarette and one one cigarette, one e-cig and one tank that's it, that's all you get in this which is uh, one of my pet minor niggles it would have been great if you could have carried something else in here but I suppose this space here is taken up by the thousand milliamp battery uh, so you just have to make do with this excuse me my hand there we go right what you also get is Joytech USB cable you get a charger here as well which is uh, for us in the UK you're going to need a shaving adapter but uh, if you're like me, I, I charge it from the PC using the USB cable and it is fine. Uh, so we'll take them out of the way. You also get a spare battery. You get two atomizer heads and you get three cartridges in total with the other one being in the device itself there just now. So here's the spare battery and uh, it comes in a, a plastic shrink wrap sleeve uh, which is a pain in the backside to get off but uh, yeah it does come off eventually you see there's uh, there's your contact point there and there's like two sorry two grooves in there and that is your air hole there so all you do is take your little uh, atomizer head and I'm just going to puncture this and push it out and there we go and that just sits in there 
So you've got that in there. We then take this cover here. They do sell these in different colours. You know, you can get them in white and black as well. And you can see the little indentations on the tube there. They just line up with that. Push it down and twist. Then take one of your cartridges. I've got a needle nose bottle here. And I'm just going to see there's a hole in the end there. I'm just going to pop it in. And that's it. It doesn't hold a lot of juice guys, that's about half a mil in there. Uh, not a lot. And that's it. And then take your filled tank, push it in firmly. This is just habit from uh, old devices but I just usually give it a couple of spins and I find that just starts the wicking process off. And that's it. That's everything. Uh, the PCC, uh, if I didn't mention, uh, you know, when you're charging it, you'll have a red light here. When it's fully charged, the light will go green. And th th to be perfectly honest, there's not much else I can tell you about. Watch when you're vaping because it will get hot round about the atomizer head. And you should also watch that you do not block off the air hole with your finger, which is quite a common mistake, which I have been doing a lot of, but I'm getting used to it now, so not really doing it. Um, so that's everything. That's everything in the box. Before I forget to mention, uh, this is an automatic battery. There, there is no button to activate it or anything like that. You know, you just take a draw, make sure that's pushed down tight, and... you got a little blue LED that shows out the bottom there. Um, what else have I forgotten? Probably forgotten loads of shit. Uh, just for a comparison in size, uh, maybe not the best, but this is my phone, which is uh, a Galaxy Note, which is humongous. Uh, but and this is it next to the the carry case. Uh, what else? Uh, there's an eighteen six fifty battery. Right, I've just been filling my one of my cartridges up here, uh, which is straightforward and pop that in and that's me ready to have a vape um, right how does it vape That's my goose. <laughs> That's uh, my goose juice. That is my goose juice that I am vaping. What the hell? <laughs> uh, and it's very heavy on the VG. And you can see I'm getting lots of vapor there. Vapor production with uh, just a standard PG VG mix is still excellent. Flavor is is very very good. I I, I am completely. This has changed my vaping habits completely. I used to, if I'm out in the shed, uh, I've got a variable voltage pass through. I usually vape with that. I stick an Ate on it, a Genesis, a Silica, vape with that. I'm indoors, I'll vape with one of my my mods and atomizers that I, I like to use on a daily basis. If I'm going out and about, I'll take one of my beater mods, you know, something I'm not worried about dropping or anything like that. In the few days I've had this, this has not left my pocket. It, I vape in here with my pass-through my pass is normal and whatever I'm reviewing. 
stick this in my pocket in the house during the day when I'm out and about uh, all I vape with is this that's all I have been vaping with and I'm completely satisfied with it <laughs> at night yeah I fire up one of the you know the big bruisers and low ohms and all that kind of stuff but for a vape flavour and all that I am completely satisfied with this my vaping habits have gone back to what my smoking habits used to be and I'm, I'm tending to vape the way I used to smoke you know I would this stays in my pocket for just say about 45 minutes an hour if that I'll take it out and I'll take a couple of vapes on it stick it back in its charging case and then go about my business again the the only issue I have with it only issue and even then I don't know if I can well yeah I do I have an issue with it it gets hot uh, because this is the steel edition it doesn't have like a plastic you know a sleeve on it or coating uh, you know the white ones and the black they have to do a white and a black one uh, this round atomizer head it does get very not exceedingly warm but it gets hot it does get hot there's no denying that so holding it like that and if you take three or four pulls on it uh, you will feel the heat transferring through this um, the whole thing about the juice capacity you can either live with that or you can't um, I don't find I, I, if I'm out for the day then a, a mil and a half I've got three of these little tanks here a mil and a half will get me through most of a working day it's not going to get me through an entire day 16-18 hours but it'll get me through an 8 hour period of just having a couple of drags here and there um, if you can't, if you think for one moment that you're not going to get round that then this is not for you just there's no beating about the bush if you cannot carry a juice bottle around with you if you cannot carry the a few full cartridges forget it, don't buy this, it's not for you I find a charge, a full charge in the PCC case and one of these gets me through a normal working day uh, no problem at all and I, I am personally, personally I'm not saying it's the be all and end all and the greatest thing I've ever come across it's not, it's snazzy it's, I love the, the case, I really like the case um, it's just that's a rip off of an iPhone basically <laughs> but it looks the part and it works um, I don't think if if you see the picture if you've seen the video of me opening it up and having a look and, and you think oh, that's quite smart I'll have a bash at that uh, get the juice thing out of the way the capacity uh, if you can cope with that you'll love this that's my take on it. That is, that is my take on it. Uh, I, I really do like this. I did think at first, and this part of me does still think a little bit that it is quite expensive for what it is. But you're paying primarily for that case, in my opinion. You can buy these new batteries from Pink Mule. I think they're about a fiver. Uh, you can buy a pack of five atomizer heads for I think about a tenner um, so you can buy all the bits and bobs no problem at all uh, I can only tell you what I think and I love it I, I really do like it a lot and my wife really likes it as well Cab but she just likes it because it's not some 22 millimeter, you know, 150 mil in length monstrosity. Uh, you know, it's just be each to their own. Uh, watch out that you don't cover up that air hole when you're vaping. Uh, I've done that a few times, but uh, you'll get used to that quite quickly. 
thanks to the guys at Pink Mule for sending this on, I really appreciate that, and uh, thanks for putting up with the rambling and the waffling as always, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Mind and go and watch other reviews, there's other reviews out about this, go and watch them uh, before you think about purchasing one of these, uh, get a balanced viewpoint. But that's me, we'll catch you later, cheers now guys, bye.